welcome back again to my channel my name is Nora G so today I will show you how to make some easy home decor sculptures using cardboard boxes and foil paper so let's get started so first things first if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join my nook virtual family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back so this is actually part of my fall glam home decor DIY series, even though this is not actually limited to fall. Sculptures are a very good way to accentuate your home. You can use this to accessorize anyhow, anytime. And since Christmas is around the corner, how about this video gives you some coffee table decorating ideas for Christmas? Well, for this anti-gravity teacup, or gravity teacup, <laughs> I basically picked up these teacups from Goodwill, the thrift store, and uh, I got the saucer and the teacup for a dollar, and also the little uh, milk cup for a dollar as well. So that cost me two dollars. Like I always say, the whole idea for DIY for me is to create unique pieces that cannot be easily found or that can only be found in your home. And even more so, it is so exciting when you're able to do it yourself. So I'll be using a hanger to create an illusion of a suspended mug. So watch as I do this. I used hot glue and E6000 glue together only because I wanted it to adhere really really strongly and more so because the hot glue basically will hold it in place right away while E6000 takes longer to cure about 24 to 48 hours after. So because this is something that you want to have last for a long time, it is ideal to use both. As you can see, the hot glue already holds the, the mug and the teacup in place, but because it takes 24 to 48 hours for the E6000 glue to cure, I had to support uh, the mug so that it continues to dry overnight while I'm able to go ahead to create my sculpture. And now it's time to spray paint it gold course because go is superior and makes everything looks good so let's get going once the spray paint was dry I went ahead to mix one part of plastic plaster of Paris or white cement with some school glue and water to create my milk mixture um, what this does is, especially with the school glue, it solidifies the plaster of Paris pretty quickly. I think within 15 to 30 minutes. So that is what I'm going to use to create an illusion of milk. And uh, once this dries off, I'm going to paint over it using acrylic white paint. This is a perfect DIY glam coffee table decor. You can set this up with your um, on your coffee table or any corner of your home or in your kitchen, especially around your tea making area. And it just adds some magical touch to it. Look at that. Now put this in the museum and it's not gonna be $2, I bet you. And this only costed us $2. If we have to factor in the plaster of Paris and the hot glue, it's still not up to $10. So this is a cheap way to get a glam looking DIY abstract sculpture in your home. That is a unique piece, which is not easy to find anywhere else. Thank you. 
This African map decor sculpture was inspired by all that is going on in my beloved continent of a region, Africa. So all you would need for this one is a stencil or a template of the map of Africa and the rest is history. So why just say do this? This particular sculpture DIY is the easiest of them all and you can actually make any map of your choosing or continent using the same method. I used school glue and tissue paper over the map um, cut out that I had made just so the plaster of Paris will adhere properly. Once this was dry, I went ahead to mix my plaster of Paris with water and a little bit of um, school glue just so it dries up pretty fast and I went ahead to coat my map curl out with the plaster of Paris. So I actually baked this in the oven at uh, 200 degrees centigrade just so it dries pretty quick i didn't have time to wait and that is actually a good trick to make your plaster of paris to dry faster so these marble slabs i actually got them from the thrift store all three of them for three dollars i will be using this as the base for my african map decor sculpture I then went ahead to use this paper clip um, to hold down the African map onto the slab using hot glue and E6000 glue. Because this is cardboard, uh, it is very light and also the plaster of Paris kind of added a little bit of weight to it. In spite of that, it is not as heavy. That is why it is easy for me to use the paper clips to actually hold this down. Otherwise, I'll be using a hanger to actually hold this down onto the marble slab. And if you do not have a marble slab, you can actually use uh, stuck layers of cardboard to create a square base for your sculpture. Now that our African map is all dried and set, it is time to partition Africa. This actually takes me back to my history days in school, so the partition of Africa begins. I used the pencil to basically do the partitioning before using hot glue over it because I wanted it to have a 3D effect. And of course, I started with my home country of origin, Cameroon. And hey guys, Africa is a continent, not a country. So this is the partitioning of Africa. <laughs> Next, I will be using this black acrylic paint over the map and after that, I will use some treasure gold paint to brush over it as well to give it some acrylic, um, sorry, to give it some stony metallic finish. Watch as I do this. Now this is what it looks like once it was dry. So this is the treasure gold paint I will be using over it 
um, first I started off with the, the partitioning areas and then I will use the brush to brush over it lightly because I do not want it to be entirely gold. Look at that. It gives it that metallic um, finish. At the same time, it looks like a rock and also looks like metal or iron. And I decided to highlight my country, of course, in Cameroon. It is the heart of Africa. I give it your ancestors. <laughs> And this is the finished look. Look at that. You can actually use this anywhere in your home. And who says you cannot be bougie on the budget? I always say this. So this did not cost me anything. I used basically any, everything that I had at home, except of course the wooden slab, the marble slab that I got from the thrift store for a dollar. And you can actually use this on your coffee table. So for your coffee table decorating ideas for Christmas, you can use this. You can also do this as a gift to someone. And um, like I said earlier, you can do this with any map or continent of your choosing. I had so much fun making this particular easy home decor sculptures using aluminum foil. This is the perfect DIY glam coffee table decor. When it comes to abstract sculpture art, there is no rule book. You just do you, just get creative and have fun. And that was exactly what I was doing here using aluminum foil. Having fun with it and the outcome, I just really loved it. I hope this gives you ideas on how you can basically do your coffee table decorating for Christmas. So let's get going. So I have seen similar versions of this online and they range between $150 and over. Except of course they didn't use aluminum foil, but if you're looking for a, cheap, a cheaper way to do it yourself and just have fun, this is the way to go. And trust me, unless you tell someone this that this was made using aluminum foil, it looks like a hundred bucks and more. Just watch to complete this. Once I was satisfied with how it looked, I went ahead to use my Blaster of Paris mixture over it and then let it bake so it dries faster before I continued. So this is what it looks like before Blaster of Paris. Next, I used some Mod Podge to apply some metallic glass gravel that I got from the dollar store for $1.50. So watch as I do this. Thank you. 
I transferred the sculpture into a box um, for easy application and went ahead to continually apply the Mod Podge and the metallic glass gravel on the sculpture. I did this for about five different coats until I was satisfied with how it looked. Next, I used some spray paint over it and while the spray paint was drying off, I went ahead to paint the base of the marble white for this particular sculpture and then use E6000 glue and hot glue to glue it down onto the marble slab. And voila, there we have our easy home decor sculpture art using aluminum foil. This will make for a very good gift this Christmas or any other time. And you can use this as your coffee table decor as well. So just look at that. I honestly feel like this picture or camera is not doing this thing justice. You need to see this in person. It indeed looks very glam and will make the perfect glam coffee table decor. Please let me know in the comments section which of the sculptures was your favorite. For sculpture art number four, I basically just did a makeover of this particular sculpture I found at the thrift store. Once again from Goodwill, I got this for $3. I just really loved how it looked. The lady looked very elegant, but I just didn't like it in silver. So I thought, why not make it gold? Of course, everything looks gold in gold. And voila, there we go, the easiest home decor sculpture using thrift items. And now this just went from $3 to looking like $300. <laughs> Please let me know in the comment section if you would have loved to keep this silver or change it to gold like I just did. I'd like to know. And that sums it up for our four easy home decor sculptures using cardboard, aluminum foil and thrift items. And if you enjoyed this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate that. And also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you are yet to. And turn on notification bell if you would love to see more content from me like this one. In the meantime, always remember to be your fun self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching.